Ecofascism is a theoretical political model in which a totalitarian government would require individuals to sacrifice their own interests to the organic whole of nature, and which would rely on militarism, expansionism, and possibly racism to defend the land. The term is also used as a rhetorical pejorative to undermine the environmental movement and in the United Kingdom, it has been used to describe far-right efforts to gain influence within the Green Party of England and Wales. Some writers have used it to refer to the hypothetical danger of future dystopian governments, which might resort to extreme or fascist policies to deal with environmental issues. Other writers have used it to refer to segments of historical and modern fascist movements that focused on environmental issues. Topic. Definition Environmental historian Michael E. Zimmerman defines ecofascism as a totalitarian government that requires individuals to sacrifice their interests to the well-being and glory of the land, understood as the splendid web of life, or the organic whole of nature, including peoples and their states." Zimmerman argues that while no ecofascist government has so far existed, "...important aspects of it can be found in German National Socialism, one of whose central slogans was blood and soil. According to environmentalist David Orton, the term is pejorative in nature and has social ecology roots, against the deep ecology movement and its supporters plus, more generally, the environmental movement. Thus, ecofascist and ecofascism are used not to enlighten but to smear. Savitri Devi. Savitri Devi was a prominent proponent of esoteric Nazism and deep ecology. She support animal rights activism, and was a vegetarian from a young age and held ecologist views in her works. She wrote Impeachment of Man in 1959 in India, in which she declared her views on animal rights and nature. According to her, human beings do not stand above the animals, but in her ecologist views, humans are rather a part of the ecosystem and should respect all life, including animals and the whole of nature. <laughs> Nouvelle Droite movement The European Nouvelle Droite movement, developed by Alain de Binoist and other individuals involved with the Greece think tank, have also combined green politics with right-wing ideas such as European ethnonationalism. Penti Linkola Penti Linkola is a radical Finnish deep ecologist. Some observers describe his ideas fascist or ecofascist and his ideas are not widely known outside finland his book can life prevail a revolutionary approach to the environmental crisis was published in english by arctos media topic <laughs> christchurch mosque shootings Brenton Harrison Tarrant, the suspected shooter in the 2019 attacks on the Al Noor Mosque and the Linwood Islamic Centre in Christchurch, New Zealand, is a self-avowed ecofascist. Jordan Weissman, writing for Slate, described this as an established, if somewhat obscure, brand of neo-Nazi, and quoted Sarah Manavis, writing in The New Statesman, as saying that they believe that living in the original regions a race is meant to have originated in and shunning multiculturalism is the only way to save the planet they prioritize above all else. <laughs> <laughs> Critique of ecofascism Accusations of ecofascism have often been made but are usually strenuously denied. Such accusations have come from both those on the political left who see it as an assault on human rights, as in social ecologist Murray Bookchin's use of the term, and from those on the political right, as in Rush Limbaugh and other conservative and wise use movement commentators. 
In the latter case, it is often a hyperbolic use of the term that is applied to all environmental activists, including more mainstream groups such as Greenpeace and the Sierra Club. Bookshin's critique of deep ecology Murray Bookshin criticizes the political position of deep ecologists such as David Foreman. There are barely disguised racists, survivalists, macho Daniel Boones, and outright social reactionaries who use the word ecology to express their views, just as there are deeply concerned naturalists, communitarians, social radicals, and feminists who use the word ecology to express theirs. It was out of this former kind of crude eco-brutalism that Hitler, in the name of population control, with a racial orientation, fashioned theories of blood and soil. The same eco-brutalism now reappears a half-century later among self-professed deep ecologists who believe that third world peoples should be permitted to starve to death and that desperate Indian immigrants from Latin America should be excluded by the border cops from the United States lest they burden our ecological resources. Topic: Sakai on Natural purity Such observations among the left are not exclusive to Bookchin. In his review of Anna Bramwell's biography of Richard Walther Dere, J. Sakai observes the fascist ideological undertones of natural purity. Prior to the Russian Revolution, the Tsarist intelligentsia was divided on the one hand between liberal, utilitarian naturalists, who were taken with the idea of creating a paradise on earth through scientific mastery of nature." And influenced by nihilism as well as Russian zoologists such as Anatoly Petrovich Bogdanov, and, on the other, "...cultural aesthetic," conservationists such as Ivan Parfenovich Baradin, who were influenced in turn by German Romantic and idealist concepts such as Landschaftsflieg and Natterdenkmal. See also Eco-nationalism Radical environmentalism Animal welfare in Nazi Germany